What's up everybody, Tag here, DIY with Tag, back at you. Your favorite Cubs fan, handyman. Uh, appreciate you joining me again today. Today's project is uh, one I've been excited about. This is a, um, we're gonna do a bean bag toss, or some people call it a cornhole toss. Weird name, uh, I understand why, but anyways. Bean bag toss, we'll call it. Uh, I'll make a bean bag toss game. Um, so here's a picture of the final product. As you can see, uh, I did a Cubs versus Cardinals. Um, this is a gift for my uh, father-in-law who's a Cardinals fan. Um, as you can see, I'm a Cubs fan. And so uh, I did a, um, as a gift for him. Um, so I'll take you through the process. This cost me um, $50 almost on the nose um, in supplies as far as the woodwork goes. And then the uh, Cubs and the Cardinals stickers um, were each $20 each. So it's another 40, so roughly $90. Um, you might, if you're good at painting, you could paint those logos on. Uh, I'm not particularly good at that, so uh, I went with the stickers. But um, I'll show you through the whole process, how we cut it, you know, s measure it, um, how we um, stain it or uh, polyurethane it, um, and make it regulation for all you uh, competitive bean baggers or corn holers. Uh, so hang out with me. If, if you can, hit that like button. Hit the comments if you have any questions. If you feel like I left anything out, which I try not to do, but if you feel like I left anything out, please hit, um, hit a comment with anything you feel I left out. I will put a supply list in the comments as well. Um, and uh, hit that like, hit that comment if you need to, and then hit that free subscribe. Let us know you like the content that we're delivering. And uh, also it'll give you updates for any time I post a new video. So the subscribe button is, is huge for us and for you. Um, so look forward to this beanbag toss project. All right, gang, so I just wanted to give you a quick uh, show of the, you know, some of the supplies. So we had ended up with four eight foot two by fours um, that we're gonna cut up for the frames. And then the two um, decks that we're going to put the hole in for the beanbag toss. Um, so there's a six, six inch hole that will go in each of those. Um, there's two ways you can do that hole. Um, you can use a, a jigsaw or I have a, um, a, uh, a hole saw, a six inch hole saw that I'm going to use um, as far as making that hole nice and precise six inches there. We've got to keep it official after all, you know, we don't want the... Uh, we don't have the rules committee after us when we're out there and uh, and the friends are arguing. So anyway, so we're gonna do that. So first steps we're gonna do is sand down um, each of the decks as far as um, the the toss goes. Get those sanded down. Then we're gonna polyurethane those. Um, that's gonna give it a nice. Um, that's gonna give it that nice finish uh, on top. That nice surface for the bean bags to to go and to slide on. So we're gonna urethane those. Um, with the decals on there um, and so that that'll look real nice we're gonna do the decals down towards the bottom uh, holes up towards the top um, I'll talk to you about the measurements for the holes and everything else but that that's a quick look at some of the the supplies uh, as well as, uh, some carriage bolts and a few other things um, but we'll get to them as we go all right, y'all, so uh, first step's rather unglamorous. We're gonna use uh, 220 um, grade sandpaper. Um, you can use your uh, ro rotary sander or, or hand sanders, whatever you got. Uh, but we're just gonna sand that the, each of those um, plywood decks down. They're two by fours, uh, three quarters, three eighths of an inch thick. Um, so we're gonna give those a good sanding uh, first. Make sure that polyurethane takes nice and smooth on there. Make sure the whole surface is nice and smooth for, for the bean bags to slide on. Um, so we're gonna start on that, get that sanded up, um, and then um, let, that, let that be done, and then we can uh, get on with the polyurethane. So um, I got, the, got them both sanded, their initial sanding here. Um, next thing I'm going to do, I already did on one, is mark where the hole will be drilled as far as where the bean bags go in for, for scoring purposes. So I've already uh, marked the, the first one here. Um, so they are, the holes are 12 inches from the side and 9 inches down from the top. So we find our 12 inch middle. Then we're going to measure down nine from that. 
and we're gonna use our square. Uh, the square is really helpful when you're drawing lines. You'll see me use it a little bit later with the two by fours. This really helps you keep a nice straight line. Um, so we're gonna put the square right, butt it up right up against the uh, edge of the of the plywood there. So from this angle, you can see it just slide it and it fits right there. So we're gonna do that, and then that's gonna keep us a nice straight line from our mark for 12. We'll put the tape measure up next to it. That way the tape measure stays nice and straight. And then we're going to mark our nine with the circle right there. There we go. Now we know exactly where to cut uh, the hole, the scoring hole for the beanbag. All right, guys. So it started to rain. Sorry about, uh, sorry about that. But it's, uh, it's a beautiful rain. It's raining hard. Um, so anyways, I'm going to be using a uh, hole saw six inch hole saw to cut these holes for the um, you know for the beanbag where the beanbag goes into for the for the score so I've already drilled pre-drilled the first the first hole um, you know as far as the drill bit so the drill bits gonna uh, start its way uh, by in the previous hole that I drilled for it and then uh, the, the hole saw will do the rest of the work so uh, we got that hole hole drilled in the middle there a little bit ago um, and I wanted to show you, um, I used a, a hole saw to do that, so all I needed to do was find the middle point of the circle and the hole saw did the rest. If you're using a jigsaw, you need to first draw your circle out so you have a map to cut, your, cut with your jigsaw. Um, so I'm going to show you guys a, a little easy trick on how to draw that circle, perfect circle, uh, for using your jigsaw to cut through it. Um, so let me just move around a little bit here, gang. And... So what you'll see here is that I've got a nail in the middle of this paper. Um, and so that nail is gonna, is gonna be right at the center of our, of our hole. Then um, what, what you'll make over here further is, a, is a, um, a hole in the paper for your pencil. So you get that nail in there. Um, then you poke a hole through with your pencil. And then now uh, you measure that, uh, let me back up. So you nail that in there. Um, then from the nail you measure three inches because you need your circle to be six inches around. So whatever your circle is, um, you gotta measure out half of your circle. So in our case, three inches. You poke a hole through the paper at three inches so your pencil sticks through there. And then now that, that, nail, will hold, that nail will hold this paper still and you can draw a perfect circle around that nail. It'll be a perfect six inch circle um, so that when you go to use your jigsaw, you now have your road map as far as cutting through that hole. So there you go. A uh, little uh, DIY with tag tip on using a jigsaw to cut a perfect circle. Hey guys, uh, one more thing on the sanding front. I'm really going to get the edges. I'm just going to grab the sandpaper myself and really work on the edges of each, each uh, panel here. Uh, each deck of the uh, of the beanbag top really get that sanded down nicely all the way around the edging there give it a nice rounding on the edge um, keep any of the pieces from splintering or anything like that all right gang there you have it we got uh, hole number one and hole number two perfectly uh, slated perfectly spotted and all drilled out I'm just gonna sand uh, I'm just now gonna sand sort of the inner just go around with the sandpaper like this around the, the edging of the, of the hole on the top and the bottom just to smooth out, um, you know, some of the jagged, you know, some of the jagged edge stuff from the, from the sawing there. So we'll just go through and like I just showed you there, really sand that out um, all the way around and through there. And then uh, we'll be set with the, the whole, the whole saw, the, uh, the whole thing sanded. And then we'll move on to making the frames and the legs. So to do the frame, we've got to cut. Um, so to do the frame, we've got to cut four 28 or four 48 inch two by fours, four 21 inch two by fours, and four 13 inch two by fours. Um, so the next step, guys, is cut all those. Um, so we'll get those measured out next and then cut. So four, four 48s, four 21s, and four 13s. <clears throat> so these are eight foot, these are eight foot two by fours. 
So we should be able to cut a 48, since these are eight footers, we should be able to cut the 48, the 21, and the 13 all on the same two by four. Same two by four, we're gonna be able to cut um, all, all three of our pieces. 48, 21, and 13. Eight. 21 and our 13. Um, so I made a mark at each of those. Then uh, we use our handy square. So the square is what you use um, as far as getting your lines perfectly straight. Um, so you just Butt this up against the 2x4 and it's going to draw a perfectly straight line for you. Forty-eight. Alright, so we got them all measured. Then it's back to our square again. This is what we can draw our straight lines with. Got them all measured out, now we're just going to cut them all, um, then we can start putting them back together. Alright, so we got them all cut. So we got them all cut, um, so now we're going to build the base of the, next we build the base of the beanbag toss. Um, so we screw all of them together. Um, then we'll make the legs. Um, I'll show you the legs are very are going to be very unique in how we make the legs. Right. So um, so I'm going to build the first frame. It's 48 by 21. We're going to screw the base together with two and a half inch two and a half inch screws. We're gonna screw these together with two and a half inch. Two and a half inch screws. Um, I like this. I know you can't probably see it very well, but I like the square head screws. They work better um, overall. I think, in my opinion. In my opinion, the square heads work better. So if anybody ever told you you had a square head, it's, it should be a compliment. Okay, so that'll be the frame. Our bad boy will sit right on here. Easy peasy. Okay, so we got both frames done. Uh, you see one against the wall and one on, on the bench here. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is measure for the legs. So the legs of the game are going to fit right in here and they're going to pivot up and down. Um, so that's what's going to hold the game at an angle. If you've played, you know that the beanbag toss is at an angle there. Um, so we're going to mark where our pivot point is going to be on that. And so on each of the two by fours, it's going to be four inches in and an inch and a quarter down okay so we're gonna measure four inches in on the two by four inch and a quarter down then on the on the uh, actual leg we're gonna do an inch and a quarter down and an inch and a quarter in um, so that's how we're gonna measure these out inch and a quarter down inch and a quarter in and on the actual game or on the actual deck four inches in and an inch and a quarter down and then that's what's gonna allow it to pivot. All right, gang, so we've made our marks. Uh, four inches in on the two by four, an inch and a quarter down on each side. Um, you see the other dot on the other side. So then um, we're gonna drill, use a three eighths inch bit and drill through there because we're gonna use three eighths inch carriage bolts um, to go through here with wing nuts um, through the leg on the other side. So then you can loosen and tighten those wing nuts to move um, the legs up and down. Um, so next step, uh, drilling through there, 3 8 inch bit using 3 8 inch carriage bolts. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drill those three eighth inch um, holes uh, for the legs there. Um, I just wanna say before I start what I'm, I did a small pilot hole uh, already with a much smaller bit, and then I'm gonna go from the outside in rather than the inside out. If any splintering does happen, I want it to happen on the inside versus the outside that you can see. Um, I don't expect it to happen given that I did a pilot hole already. Um, doing a smaller pilot hole first tends to help with any splintering that the wood might do. When the, when the drill bit goes through, it could splinter out a little bit. It just makes a bad look, so I'm gonna start from the outside in, uh, cause that'll avoid any of that. So here we go. All right, so there we are. We're uh, drilled through, put the 3 8 inch, um, and I should say 3 8 inch, 4 inches long uh, carriage bolt through there. And then you'll see they just stick out uh, a bit on the end. So we're just going to knock that hit with the hammer, um, get that nice and flush there. Um, so now the carriage bolt's flush. Um, it's, it's in the 3 8 inch hole, and uh, we're ready to um, cut the legs. And get those attached. The next step is um, to get the holes drilled for the legs and then uh, we have two cuts to make on the legs. So first making our marks uh, for, for the holes um, to the 3 8 inch holes to then uh, go through this carriage bolt is you measure a quarter, an inch and a quarter down and an inch and a quarter in. That's where we're going to drill our hole for that um, as far as, as, as getting that um, to match up with the carriage bolt. So an inch and a quarter down and an inch and a quarter in. Then what we also need to do is we need to round this top part out so that when this when this rotates it doesn't it doesn't hit the corners. Right now the corners would hit and it's not going to move like we want. So we need to round um, the edges. So what I did um, was drew this uh, arc on here. And so what I use to do that is I just butt, uh, get a piece a uh, roll of tape um, and I flush it up so that you can just see the edge and then you draw your circle or your half circle around it like that. Okay, so that gives you that, that nice rounded, even round rounding and then you can with your bandsaw or your jigsaw then cut that out. So a nice, something nice and circular but I, I like this tape roll fits perfect you just get it right up just so you can see a bit of the top and then draw that line around there so then you can go in there and smooth that out with the jigsaw then the last bit that's gonna have to happen is we got to cut a 30 degree angle on the leg uh, for any of you that have played um, bean beanbag toss it sits at an angle versus flat so it sits at a 30 degree angle so on our legs we're gonna cut a 30 degree angle on there as well so that's the next few steps all right so there they are measured at an inch and three quarters in inch and three quarters down on both inch and three quarters in inch and three quarters down and then the arc um, drawn up at the top here um, so the, the next, next thing is to do, drill the holes, um, uh, round that out, and then we'll cut the 30 degree angles down here. Now my... Alright, so here we are with the legs on. Um, now you can see I haven't rounded them off yet, but I just wanted to do that to show you. So uh, they'll hit right now, so that's why we're rounding these legs out. Because um, they're going to they're gonna hit, they're not going to let us uh, open this up to the angle that we need. So um, we'll cut, uh, round those off, cut that angle, and then uh, we'll, we'll put a washer and a wing nut, or washer and a wing nut in here, so that we can tighten it up um, and, and the game will work appropriately. All right, gang, so we got it, uh, we got it all rounded off. Um, so that's, that's working great. Now what we wanna do is cut our, our angle for the footing so that it, the whole board sits up at an angle um, and so we want uh, to angle this cut to uh, match that um, so that uh, the board sits right on the ground. So to do that, we're, I'm a little stuck between the regulation is to have the back end of the board 12 inches off the ground. So, um, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start by making, a, this is a one inch measurement right here that I made 
and we're going to do an angle cut through that. So what we're going to do is just slide our square up to it like that and draw our line, right? Draw our line right along there to make uh, for our angle cut. Um, so I'm starting with, with one inch um, uh, to give me some wiggle room. I think that might be a little, we might need two inches to get the angle just right, but I'm going to start at one inch and then cut them both and then we'll test the board and make sure that it's right. So that's how you're going to make the, that angle cut guys. Measure one inch um, up from the bottom, then use your square um, to draw a line right through that measure and then you'll have that nice angle line guide um, for making your cut um, on, uh, on that. There we go. Alright gang, so we made the uh, angle cuts. I put a one of the carriage bolts through um, to, to match the two legs up and make sure that we're even and as you see <coughs> we got the one that we just got to do a little better cut on uh, or a little bit of uh, fine tuning on to get those to angle up. So uh, if you want to make sure your legs match, uh, just throw that carriage bolt through there and then and take a look and so you can see we're a little sh shallow yet on the angle of one board. So we'll fix that up. All right, gang, we've got our angles matched up, looking good. Again, throw that carriage bolt through to get your heights matched up and uh, cut the angles. So start with that one inch angle. We'll get them all connected uh, here in a second. Make sure that uh, everything levels out. All right, guys, so we got the, the legs through the carriage bolts on the frame of the beanbag toss. Um, so again, they're 3 8 inch carriage bolts, so then we need 3 8 inch wing nuts and 3 8 inch washers. Um, so what we're going to do is just uh, put the washer on first, then the wing nut, and the wing nut allows you to easily um, tighten and loosen based off how, how uh, easily or, or difficult the legs are spinning. Um, so we just go washer first. We'll get that carriage bolt up, or the um, wing nut on the carriage bolt. And we tighten it, tighten it down, um, you know, for ease of move of the leg. So that's pretty good. Um, so now you see the leg is hitting on this top two by four. Um, so that's what gives us the appropriate angle on, on the deck. You know, so it has that, that upward or downward angle, depending on your perspective. It's an upward angle towards the scoring hole. So the hole will be, you know, right in the middle here. Um, so we'll get the other one attached, um, and then we'll lay it down and, and measure to see if our uh, length on the back is accurate. So the back end should be 12 inches off the ground um, when it's all said and done. Okay, and we tighten this up so the leg stays. All right, so now we've got them tight enough so the legs stay. Um, now we'll put it down on the ground, see if the measurement's right. All right, folks, we got it, uh, we got it all set up. Um, so as you can see, my angle's just a little, uh, little sharp on the uh, leg, so we're gonna shallow those angles out. And we're just, um, we're at 12 and a quarter inches on that so shallowing that angle out should get this down just a touch and we'll be right on with our 12 inches um, our 12 inches to the top of the deck there all right guys we got our angles we got it sitting uh, fairly flush there um, so we did it we did it and even better um, we're at exactly 12 inches to the top of the deck so perfect Got everything matched up, ready to rock and roll again. We're just throwing bean bags in no time. Uh, so next step, um, get the top, the deck um, screwed in all along the top, and we'll fill all the screw holes throughout um, with some wood putty. Um, then we will, um, then we'll do polyurethane, uh, probably a couple coats of polyurethane. First coat um, as is, then the second coat we'll put our logos on beforehand. So we'll let the first coat dry, put our logos on um, towards the bottom there, and then uh, polyurethane uh, one more time over top of that. So that's next. All right, y'all. So we got the uh, screws in the four corners here. These are one and five eighths inch screws uh, to secure the deck on top here. So one and five eighths 
Um, and uh, don't be like me, you don't want to screw loose. Uh, so what I want you guys to do is sink these in just a little bit. Um, that way you can, then we'll put some wood putty on them. And so when we polyurethane over top, you won't see a bunch of uh, screw heads all throughout there. Um, so don't have your screws loose, get them deep, get them sunk down in there deep, uh, not deep, but get them sunk down there in there a little bit, then we'll hit it with wood putty and uh, you'll like that finish better than when you, uh, when you see a bunch of screw heads. If you're painting it uh, a certain color, I guess it doesn't matter too much, uh, but I'm going for the natural wood look on this one, so we're gonna try to get some wood putty over top of all those one and five eighths inch screws. There we have it. We got all of them screwed, all of the screws in, screwed down, ready to rock and roll. Um, looking good, baby. Uh, so we just, now we'll go through and I'll fill those all with uh, wood putty and then we're gonna be ready to uh, polyurethane. All right guys, we get that wood putty going. You see, I can, you can see I filled in the first one here. Um, just wanna find the, if you're going with a, uh, you know, natural color of whatever wood you're choosing, um, there, it comes in different wood color varieties. If you're painting it, it doesn't really matter um, necessarily, but if, if you're going for the, the natural wood look, to fill these in, just find the, the putty, you know, that, uh, that fits your, your wood. Mine's a natural pine look. Um, and you go from there, then I just use my fingers. I mean, you can, you know, you can use other tools to get it right. Uh, but just, we just get it in there and then, then I just try to blend it in the best that I can. All right, we got it sanded, we got the holes filled. Um, so now we're gonna do our first coat of polyurethane. You know, with the clear satin, try to bring out the natural look of the wood. Um, nothing magical to show you through this process. Um, just get that uh, first coat on and then we'll show you the after. Alright, so we got the first coat on, gang. Um, so we're going to let this dry. It says three to four hours. Um, then we're going to put the logo sticker um, down here towards the bottom. And then uh, do our next uh, coat there. Um, and then it'll be um, protecting that as well. So, hey, we're one step closer. I'm going to finish up uh, the um, second board um, pretty much all the same steps as we already did with this one and then we'll be set both constructed one one closest to us with the polyurethane on it one farthest without um, just so you could see a little bit of a uh, during process or before and after process so we'll fill up the holes on this one get the first coat of polyurethane on and um, we're gonna be rocking and rolling gang we'll be playing bags in no time so there they are uh, each with one coat of polyurethane on them, ready to rock and roll. Um, so next step, I'm going to put the logos in uh, towards the bottom on each one of them. And then a couple more coats of polyurethane. Um, I get varying opinions on how much. I'm probably going to do about five coats total. Uh, we'll just see kind of how the smoothness goes. Um, I'll put more coats on as needed. but And then we'll put one coat on, sand it down and then another coat. And the only coat that you don't sand is the very last one. Um, so coat it, sand it, coat it, sand it, coat it, and we should be good to go. We'll be ready for bags, so I'll show you. Okay, folks, we are in between coats of polyurethane here, so I just wanted to talk to you about sanding for a minute. Um, you wanna sand, you know, with the grain vertically, No, definitely no circles. Um, you, you don't wanna go up and down you know, up and down with the with the sanding. That's going to give you the best surface overall. Um, and then in between sandings, wipe it down with a wet wet uh, towel. So up and down with the sanding. Definitely no circles. Um, that's going to give you your best surface. Avoid any scratches or scuffs or marks on there. All right, guys, we got the stickers in. Um, so I have them uh, centered from the bottom of the of the hole. Um, to the bottom of the deck there um, and then from side to side so they're centered uh, I'm gonna apply those it won't have that white backing on it but I'll show you that in a second I'll apply those and then we'll put on our next coats of polyurethane and we're gonna be one step closer hey hey guys we did it we did it so I'm making this for my father-in-law um, so he's a Cardinals fan so I'm giving him a little bit of a, of a dig <laughs> getting back at him with making the other one a Cubs uh, so we got the Cardinals we got the Cubs and uh, the stickers are on um, and centered and now or as well centered as I could get them the um, and now we're going to uh, get the next couple coats of polyurethane on um, I'll give you an update on how many I'm gonna start with one I'll show you what it looks like 
Um, and of course we gotta let a few hours go by and let that dry and we'll do another one for sure. Um, and then after that, I'm a little uncertain, so I'll let you know at the end how many we end up with. Okay, so I got this, I got the coat on this Cardinals one here, guys, and I just wanted to show you something as I'm doing this. Um, so you can see, you know, that one's un, it does not have the next coat of polyurethane on. And this one done is, is looks how shiny it is. So the best way to see if you miss a spot, guys, is to get um, an angle uh, with the sunlight coming at it. Um, so then you can look and see and see all the shine to it and see right there uh, where there's a little bit of spot that's not as shiny um, that's where I missed a spot so you want to even when you're finished you want to get down here and look at it see if you can find any of these spots um, looks like that's our only one maybe another one right up top there um, but anyways this one right here for sure that you guys can see um, is where I missed a spot so I just want to go back and, uh, and, get, and grab that spot get it Get it on there there we go now she's fully covered you can see it shining um, up and down and so now we just let it dry for a couple hours um, so I get the other one we'll let them dry a couple hours get another coat and we'll see where we're at all right guys we did it the beanbag games are finished there they are all that's left is the games uh, thanks for joining me. If you liked the content, please do hit the like button, hit the subscribes. That'll give you alerts for when we post our new videos and show, show us that you really enjoy the content. If I missed anything, you have any questions, please hit it in the comments. Also have the price list in the comments and the supply list in the comments. Until, until then, this was Tag with DIY with Tag. I appreciate your time. We'll see you next time.